This video reviews how to find the last row of an Excel worksheet using the Python library OpenPixel. Often, we don't always know how many rows we have in a spreadsheet, but we still need to add data to it. I'll show you that this is quite easy to do with Python. Here you can see our testing document, on which you can see quite a lot of rows. There is over 57,000 of them, totaling up to 57,635. We will locate this last row, add a single value after it, and then add many values in the following rows utilizing a for loop. Right here, I bring in the workbook as WB and I'm selecting the worksheet as WS. I will then be saving the work in the cell below it. Finding the last row of a spreadsheet is actually very easy to do. All you have to do is access the worksheet's max row attribute that contains an integer. Let's access ours right now. Here we can see that the last row is correctly identified as 57,635. If we want to access the value of that last row, we can use this attribute in an F string literal with the appropriate column using the dot value attribute on that cell. So right here, you can see that I'm accessing the cell of column A and the maximum row value for the worksheet. The dot value attribute on the cell will tell me what that cell is actually containing. I'll go ahead and execute this cell. We should see a value of 85. There we go. I will save the document and then reopen it to check the work. Scrolling to the bottom of the page will show that the max row attribute correctly identifies the last row of data and that that value is indeed 85. Now, if we want to add a single value to the row following that last row, all that is required is adding one to the max row attribute. Right here, you can see that that is exactly what I'm doing. I am accessing the cell in the same way as above, but I'm adding one to the current max row value. I then assign that cell a new line of text in that string. Let me now execute this line. I'll save the document and reopen to check the work. And once again, let's scroll to the bottom of the page. And here we can see the string of text is accurately displaying on the last row of the column, one row below that value of 85. If you'd like to add multiple values to the end of your data, you can use a for loop, iterating through the loop while continuously accessing the latest max row value. In this cell, I create a list of 10 letters, which I loop through, adding each letter to the row after the last row on the worksheet. Each iteration through the loop increases that max row amount by one because I'm assigning each letter to be placed in the row after that last row. I'll go ahead, execute this cell. I will save the document and reopen it to check our work. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the worksheet. And here you can see that all of the letters are being appropriately placed in order at the end of the document. So it's quite simple. All you have to do is access the max row attribute of the worksheet object. And if you want to add data to the following rows, you can use the attribute and increment it up accordingly. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments if this was a helpful video and let me know what other features of OpenPixel or Python in general you would like to see reviewed. And please do hit that subscribe button so that you can know when the next video drops.